now let's see about floating point multiplication algorithm uh, so we can perform multiplication operation on the floating point numbers using four steps first let us note down those four steps the first step is check for zeros so we have to check whether the multiplicand or multipliers are zeros or not and the second step is add exponents here we have to add the exponents in multiplication the third step is multiply mantissas multiply mantissas and the fourth step is normalize the result normalize the result so by using these four steps we can perform multiplication operation on floating point numbers we know that a floating point number is represented in the form of mantissa mantissa into base power exponent base power exponent here mantissa is nothing but fractional point number floating point number so let the mantissa is like this 0.5812 into base value generally 10 will be considered as the base value into 10 power exponent value the exponent value must be either positive integer or negative integer but exponent should not be a floating point number so it may be either positive integer or negative integer like that so in this way we can represent a floating point number uh, so let this is our first number uh, let the second number is like this 0.234 into so 10 power 7 so this is our second number uh, let's see the first step here check for zeros so first we have to check whether the multiplicand and multipliers are zeros or not if they are zeros if any one of them is zero or if both are zero then zero into anything is equal to zero so it is not possible to perform the multiplication operation why because the result is zero only so now there is no need to perform any operation so let's see the step so multiply so we are performing multiplication operation here the multiplicand that means the first number is present in br register whereas the multiplier the second number is present in qr register so first we have to check for zeros so check whether br is zero or not if br is zero then zero into anything is equal to zero so the result is zero here in order to store the result we are using ac register so ac implies zero so the result will become zero and stop the process end ac is result so the product result is present in ac so next step if br is not equal to zero then check the value of the qr suppose if qr is 0 then we can say that 0 into anything is equal to 0 so the result of this uh, multiplication is 0 so 0 will be transferred to the ac register so stop the process uh, the product result is uh, available in ac that is nothing but 0 if br is not equal to 0 as well as qr is not equal to 0 then we have to perform the second step the second step is add exponents here while performing addition or subtraction operation we have to align we have to align the mantissas in such a way that both the exponents are equal whereas in multiplication algorithm in multiplication operation there is no need to align the mantissas here the first number exponent is 5 second number exponent is 7 so there is no problem here okay there is no need to align any mantissas here so alignment of mantissas will be done only in addition and subtraction algorithm in multi in multiplication alignment of mantissas is not necessary so that means these exponents may be equal or different there is no problem here in addition or subtraction algorithm the resultant exponent is that exponent only that same exponent let the first number exponent is 3 second number exponent is 3 so the resultant exponent is also 3 whereas coming to the multiplication we have to add the exponents we have to add the exponents but here the problem is the adder here we are in, in order to add the exponents we are using adder adder is nothing but a, a hardware circuit but the adder is present in uh, a and b here a is nothing but exponent of the first number b is nothing but exponent of the second number but here what is the multiplier here multiplier is qr okay so here adder cannot performs addition operation on b and q 
so b is nothing but multiplicand exponent q is nothing but multiplier exponent here why because here here what is the problem the adder is present in between a and b the adder is not present between b b and q so that's why we have to transfer this q to a so transfer this uh, multiplier exponent to a so q that multiplier exponent is tra transferred to a so now a contains multiplier exponent already that multiplicand exponent is present in b so now we add those two exponents and transfer the result to a so a plus b yaro a so a yaro a plus b so here this adder is adding the exponents a and b and the corresponding result is transferred to a okay so this is the second step here we add the exponents here what is the first exponent here here 5 is the first exponent 5 is the first number exponent where here 7 is the second number exponent so if we add these two then what is the result so 10 power 5 plus 7 means 12 so 12 is nothing but the resultant exponent here then after that we have to multiply the mantissas <laughs> that means here the first number the multiplicand mantis i is 0 0.5812 the multiplier mantis i is 0 0.234 so we have to perform multiplication operation on this 5812 and 2314 so multiply the mantisas for multiplying the mantisas we use a fixed point sign magnitude multiplication already in the previous videos we have seen uh, two multiplication algorithms the first one is sign magnitude multiplication algorithm the second one is uh, uh, two's complement multiplication so that is nothing but booth's algorithm so here in order to multiply the mantisas we use a sign magnitude fixed point multiplication algorithm so already i explained that algorithm in one of my previous video so i will share that link in the description so please go through that link in order to get knowledge about how we can perform multiplication operation on sign magnitude numbers so here the point is in order to multiply the mantisas simply we use a fixed point sign magnitude multiplication algorithm so integer sign magnitude multiplication algorithm so the next step is multiply the mantisas so we have to represent these numbers in binary notation and perform the multiplication by using fixed point uh, uh, sign magnitude multiplication algorithm and after that let us assume that we got a result like this so 1.010 so 1101 into here uh, we need to add the exponents so 10 power 5 plus 7 means 12 so this is the result so in this way we can perform the multiplication algorithm and the last step is normalize the results uh, here uh, after performing the multiplication operation we should not get any overflow uh, overflow means uh, uh, the corresponding register cannot store the additional bit but here uh, overflow problem cannot occur here why because here the let the size of the multiplicand is 4 bits size of the multiplier is 4 bits so now ac register can store 8 bits of data our result will be 8 bits only so the resultant register can store those 8 bits so here the point is after performing multiplication operation there is no overflow there is a possibility that we may get underflow we may get underflow so how we can overcome from the underflow first let's see what is underflow uh, if most significant digit of the mantis size is 0 then we can say that there is an underflow here the most significant digit of the mantis size is 0 so we can say that there is underflow here so we have to normalize the result so we have to overcome from the um, underflow so how we can overcome from the underflow simply by performing shift left operation on the result and decrementing the exponent here after 0 we have 1 here so shifting one position to the left that is enough here suppose if you have one more 0 here here also we have 0 here if there are 3 zeros here then each bit will be shifted 3 positions to the left but here we have after 0 we have 1 only so shifting one position to the left is enough so here Shift left means 0 will be appended to the right position and all these bits are shifted one position to the left. So this one will be shifted one position, this one will be shifted, this 0 will be shifted, this one will be shifted and this 0 will be shifted here. And as well as we have to decrement the exponent. Here we are shifting only one position to the left. So we have to subtract only from 12. So if you subtract 1 from the 12 then the result is 10 power 11. 
after performing the shift left operation here the most significant uh, pt is 1 so we can say that uh, the corresponding result is in normalized form so let us check here here a1 means the most significant bit of the lattice if a1 is 1 there is no underflow so quit the process uh, the corresponding result is present in ac whereas if a1 is 0 that means if most significant bit of the lattice is 0 then we have to perform shift left operation on the corresponding result and decrement the exponent decrement the exponent and we have decremented the exponent and after that what is the next step and ac is the result so in this way we can perform multiplication operation on floating point numbers